The World Health Organization has now warned the public that a dangerous super strain of gonorrhea may be resistant to antibiotics. The STD has apparently become untreatable as people began overusing antibiotics in general throughout the coronavirus pandemic. We're going to spill all the tea for you on what you need to know about this super strain right here on IO. But first, make sure you tap that like button to show some love to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's just dive right into today's story. When this news broke, the Sun was the first to cover it along with a statement from the World Health Organization official. The news elicited both concern from many, but also a tons of humor because how could you not laugh at yet another terrible thing in this world going super saiyan, let's say. First super COVID, now super gonorrhea. What's next, super murder hornets? The spokesperson from the World Health Organization told The Sun Online how this and a lack of SDI services during the pandemic are also fueling the rise of this new super gonorrhea. In a statement, he said, overuse of antibiotics in the community can fuel the emergence of antimicrobial resistance in gonorrhea. Azithromycin, a common antibiotic for treating respiratory infections, was used for COVID-19 treatment early Earlier in the epidemic. He then goes on to say, during the pandemic, STI services have also been disrupted. This means more STI cases are not diagnosed properly, with more people self-medicating as a result. Such a situation can fuel emergence of resistance in gonorrhea, including gonorrhea superbugs, super gonorrhea, or gonorrhea with high level resistance to current antibiotics recommended to treat it. Adding, resistant strains in gonorrhea continue to be a critical challenge to STI prevention and control efforts. For those of you who don't know, gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that affects more than a million Americans per year. This new super version refers to a strain of the STD that has become completely unresponsive to any antibiotics. However, although this has been on the rise due to the pandemic, this isn't anything new. The first cases of super gonorrhea appeared in Japan in 2011, but the resistant strains have since spread to many other countries, including the US. The CDC has also released an information page on this new super bug that says, Gonorrhea has quickly developed resistance to all but one class of antibiotics, and half of all infections are resistant to at least one antibiotic. Tests to detect resistance are not available at time of treatment. Gonorrhea spreads easily. Some men and most women do not have symptoms and may not know that they are infected. Increasing speed. Untreated gonorrhea can cause serious and permanent health problems in women and men, including ectopic pregnancy and infertility, and can spread to the blood, resulting in cardiovascular and neurological problems. The stunning thing is that we had more than enough notice to prepare for something like this. Not only was the first few cases actually recorded in 2011, but Dr. Bruce Wiley actually predicted the arrival of super gonorrhea in the US back in 2017. In 2017, he wrote an op-ed in Forbes magazine magazine after the first case in the UK happened. After citing that around 78 million new gonorrhea infections occur each year, he went on to say, as a just released World Health Organization report explains, data from 77 countries show that antibiotic resistance is making gonorrhea much harder and sometimes impossible to treat. In fact, the WHO has indicated that strains of untreatable gonorrhea have emerged in three countries, Japan, France, and Spain. So we knew that this super strain was possible in 2011. Then a professor warned us that it had spread to multiple countries in 2017 and confirmed that it was becoming resistant to antibiotics. Yet somehow we needed to wait until a devastating pandemic tore its way through a medical system before the alarm finally went off about this. The really dangerous thing with this is that if gonorrhea goes untreated, it can lead to an increase in HIV transmissions and eye infections that can result in blindness. Additionally, the CDC themselves changed their guidelines for how to treat gonorrhea just two weeks ago. No official data has been published recently showing an increase in this, but a study published on December 18th revealed that antibiotic resistant cases have increased more than sevenfold in five years. Following this paper being published, the CDC removed azithromycin as their standard of care treatment and suggested a different antibiotic. The page now says, CDC's updated recommendations for the treatment of uncomplicated gonorrhea in adolescents and adults, two drug approach no longer recommended. Treat with just one 500 milligram injection of ceftriaxone. Without a doubt, the COVID-19 pandemic has revealed some already existing problems in society and this new super gonorrhea is just the now thing that we have to deal with. The real issue is that the news moves so fast that people really begin to forget that these problems still exist and then they're just getting worse. The first thing you can do to protect yourself, according to Dr. Bruce Wiley, is to be careful with antibiotic use. Try to only take them when absolutely necessary. Really any type of antibiotic is going to drive more resistance and a large percentage of upper respiratory stuff is not going to benefit from them anyways. In regards to rumors surrounding COVID-19 treatment with antibiotics, the doctor had this to say. You may run into someone who is telling you that you should take azithromycin, but keep in mind that there is no evidence that that actually is going to help you. Lastly, he says that those who believe that they may have an STD should try to see a doctor and do not try to treat it yourself. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled 12 year old boy almost burns down house after this. What a Christmas present. Melissa Roberts says the matching jammies got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always matching pajamas and mayhem always goes well together for some reason. Miss A says, seeing Johnny in his suit made my Christmas morning. Aw, I instantly smiled. Johnny, we thank you. I thank you for the lovely comment. That suits for everybody for Christmas. 
Michelle Washington says, Merry Christmas, Johnny. Thanks for dressing for the occasion, Baconator. <laughs> you know I always pull up clean. The Juliet 316 says, Reminds me of when I was about six and my aunt flicked a still lit cigarette in the trash and it burned through and lit the backyard on fire. Seeing that front yard gave me flashbacks to that. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't imagine just your aunt flicks the cigarette and then the entire lawn is on fire. Oh god, what a mess. Thank you for your comment. Astral Siren says, at least they had a warm and tasty Christmas. I don't know if it was tasty, but definitely warm. Definitely warm. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy.